GoHuskies.com with men's golf coach, 10th year men's golf coach, Matt Thurman. Um, the eve before you guys leave to Arizona for your, the NCAA regionals, uh, what is the mindset of the team as you guys head into Tucson and uh, kind of expectations? Well, our expectations are to play great. Um, we're trying not to have too many expectations uh, on, on big picture stuff, but we definitely expect to advance uh, and to go to our go to the national championship. I got Chu and Spooner that are our seniors, and they're going to see to it that uh, on their watch in their final year that we go to the national championship. So those are the expectations. You know, the mindset is each guy's kind of got his own things that they're working on. Uh, we're going to take a relaxed approach and. We're pretty confident in our abilities, despite you know what our seeding might be or, or where we're ranked. I mean, we're very confident that we're going to go down and play well. Now, despite the confidence, you seem to be having a couple sleepless nights, or at least last night. Um, what's what are some of the worries that you have? You think? Well, sleeplessness for me isn't worries. Uh, it's anxiousness. Uh, it's I don't sleep well when uh, when I care a lot, and. Uh, I worry about myself actually when I sleep well before a tournament. I'm like I'm not up. I'm not ready. As a player, I could never sleep before a tournament. And probably why I'm coaching now and not playing because I'd be so tired when I was playing. But to me, it's a good sign. I, I, I like it. That means my mind is ready. I mean, last night I was just going over the course over and over again in my mind on how we would do it, thinking about the guys on the team and what little things I can do and say to maybe help them save a shot here and there or. or, or be a little bit more confident or play a little bit better. So, so that's what sleepless nights are for me. They're not worry. They're they're anxiousness. There's finding any little possible edge that I can find, and it's all these things going over and over in my mind. I, I you know, I like to get sleep, but at the same time, I get excited when I don't because that means my mind is, is sharp and ready. You mentioned uh, Spooner and Chu being in the lineup, but you also kind of threw a curveball in there by throwing Jens in there. Um, yeah. and to go along with the sophomores, obviously that are your top two players. Um, what, what's kind of the thought process throwing uh, Jens in there? Well, uh, we've had a hard time this year getting real good play on the back of our lineup. Uh, Jens played a lot for us in the fall and played really well at times, had had low round of the day, I think, for our team four times uh, in three tournaments in the fall. Uh, he's got explosive ability. Uh, Jens hasn't played for us since October in the lineup, but he's a great competitor, uh, and he's somebody I trust a lot. At the end of the year, uh, we throw out all the numbers, uh, forget about qualifying, and we take to regionals the guys that we feel like for this week give us the very best chance of advancing, uh, the guys that we can trust the most to shoot a score when we really need it. And, and we just really felt like Jens was that guy. Uh, he's, he's, a, he's a great competitor, and, and I think he's going to bring a, a great spirit to the, uh, to the team. He brings a lot of good energy and enthusiasm and He's kind of a clown, and, and I think that'll all benefit us too. I'm excited to have him off the course just as much as on the course this week. Now, you've never taken this group to Omni National Golf Course, yeah. but you've been there before. What what are your thoughts and memories of the course and how, how it sits and suits your team? That you yeah, uh, I have good and bad memories. As a freshman in college, it was one of the most devastating uh, tournaments I ever played. I, I, was, I went to regionals as a freshman, and I wasn't as prepared as I should have been, and I we ended up being the team that just missed it by one, and it was devastating. So I have that negative feeling. At the same time, we have had really good experiences there too. In 2006, uh, our team advanced. It was a it was a cool one. We had a great team, and we ended up being actually making a run at the NCAA championships that year. But it really started at Tucson National. Uh, we'd had kind of a slow year, and going into the final round, we were I think one shot clear of the number in ninth place, and and pretty panicked and uh, really challenged the guys, and we went out and shot the lowest round in our program's history and finished third, uh, and then went on, and, and we were leading the Nationals through three rounds and, and had a great championship. So uh, that was a, an awesome memory. I remember sitting in that room and challenged each of those guys individually, and the way they went out and responded was, was cool. I think, I think this team will respond well, too. I know the course. Uh, it, it's going to set up well for us. It, it's just, just the right thing. Now, we haven't met since um, Chris Williams and Charlie Hughes earned all Pac-10 um, honors. Um, what are your thoughts on those guys and using those guys as building blocks moving forward to the future also? Uh, they're awesome. They're awesome. They work really hard, and they're, they're, they represent our program really well in every way. So uh, I don't know. I'm not really worried too much about the future right now. The future is tomorrow. <laughs> Uh, we're going to have a great regionals, and, and if the future means those guys playing great at regionals, well, then, then 
then that's that's all I care about. What has this team been doing the last week preparing for this championship? I always loosen up this time of year. Uh, we keep the reins on them pretty tight and do a lot of team stuff throughout the year, making sure we get everything done right. Um, this time of year, I kind of put a little bit more trust in them and just say, hey, look, you guys know what you're doing. Um, find a way that you get yourself ready in any way you can. So we've been kind of doing more individual stuff uh, and letting them – do what they want to do. So for some, that means go out and play around every day of competitive golf. For some, it means a lot more range time or putting time or chipping time. Um, so I've encouraged them to relax a little bit and kind of get away from golf some so that they can be really sharp for this regional. So there's not an easy answer to that. It's different for everybody. Now, one of your philosophies is always have fun. Um, yeah. At, at this trip in the NCAs in Tucson, there's a lot of fun things to do. Yeah. A lot of hikes you guys can go on. Are you, do you plan on doing that kind of stuff this time? Uh, yeah, absolutely. Uh, I don't know. Uh, uh, is there anything fun to do in Tucson? I, I don't know personally. Yeah, I don't really know either. But I know in the past we've spent a lot of time at the pool. Uh, <laughs> there's a, a great cold tub in the spa there that we always have a competition so you can stay in it the longest. <laughs> I was the record holder for a long time at five minutes. I mean, it's like 34 degrees in this thing, but... Uh, Joel Damon broke the record last time we were there. I think he did like 11 minutes or something. I made him come out for hypothermia. But, uh, you know, we'll find ways to make it fun. Uh, fun isn't always going and doing exciting activities. It's more the, the mindset you bring to everything that you do. And so even when we compete and just hang out or practice around, we're going to enjoy what we do and bring a good attitude to it. All right, Coach Thurman. Good luck. Get some sleep tonight, and uh, we'll talk to you later. All right. Thank you.